Salam, ab kise hai. So today I'm looking at Urdu first letters. When you first learn Urdu, you generally get the alphabet, you get alif, be, pe, te, and so on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a way of learning Urdu with just a couple of letters that look very similar to each other. So the first one you get is just a straight line, straight line down. It's called alif, and this makes an R sound. You then have alif, mud, which is uh, the mud is the line above it. Always do it from right to left. And that's an R sound. So I've said it in other videos. The short R is like the uh, the A in father. It's like an R sound. And the long R, alif mud, is like the A in uh, apple. So now, down the side here, you can see these shapes. You can call them U's, you can call them cups. But anyway, it's the same shape. The only difference is, if we go down, is where the dots are. So, you can see you've got one dot above, without a dot. We've got one dot below, three dots below, two dots above. Um, what's called, um, well, this letter's called te. It looks like um, a little P that's upside down almost. And I'll cover that in a second. Then you've got three dots above as well. So with just these placements, these dots, we're going to learn a few words in Urdu. So the first one is uh, noon. So noon is a nut sound. So you touch the roof of your mouth when you say this. So noon, just like high noon, noon. So we've got nani. So remember when you saw Aleph without the mud? That's just a straight line that goes up. So we've got Noon, Aleph. Then we've got Noon and what's called Chotiya. I'll cover that in another video. So there you've got Noon, Aleph, Noon, Aleph for the word Nana. So Nani is grandmother, Nana is grandfather. We then have uh, what's called Noon Guna. So some people just call it Noon, but some call it Noon Guna. Noon guna is the way I remember it. So it's basically noon without the dot. Now this N sound is uh, spoken nasally. So the best way to explain it is if we look at some words. So we've got, you can see in English here, it says nahin, na, it says nahin, kaha and vaha. Now imagine the, the N at kaha is shortened. I'm so used to saying it. So imagine it's kahan. But then take away the N, so it's kaha, vahan, vaha. So this noon at the end here is that ah sound. So you've got nu for noon, nahi, nahi. So the second N is almost not pronounced kaha, kaha, not kahan, kaha, vaha, not vahan, vaha. A little bit confusing, but if you just remember, when you see it empty, it's noon. When it's one dot below, it's be. That's a B sound. So we've got the word bai, which means brother. And we've got bazaar, which is a marketplace. So again, in England, you'll hear the word bazaar. So we've got be and alif going up. And then you've got alif again there as well. So that's several letters you should be able to recognise now. Be and Aleph. Be and Aleph. The next one is three letters below. So uh, this is called Pe, and it makes a P sound. Pe is the name of the letter. So we've got Peter. So um, when they say it in Urdu, they don't say Peter. It's like Peter. It's like this dental T, which we'll come to in a moment. So Pe. And then you've got um, these two dots below, which is like an E sound, which I'll come to in a bit. We've then got Pani. So we've got Pe, we've got the Aleph that goes up. We've got the Noon with the dot. So Pe, Aleph, Noon. And then we've got this, uh, what's called Chotiye. When it's at the end, it's this, like a, almost like an S. And when it's in the middle, it's two eyes. 
sorry, two eyes, two two dots, I should say, two dots. So again, we've got pair, we've got ye or chotie with the two dots, we've got noon, and we've got alif, pina. So this is a verb, pina, to drink. Should probably put to drink there, to drink. We've then got another word, pencil, pencil. So we've got pair, yeah, noon, what's called uh, seen and larm. So don't worry too much about the other letters. You should be able to recognize now bear and noon. So this letter now, two dots above, is te. Two above, te. Maybe that's why I remember it. So te is a t sound. So we've got tarbuz. Tarbuz. Tarbuz is a watermelon. Tar is a wire or a string. So you've got te and you've got alif. Te alif. You've got re at the end. Don't worry about re too much. So taklif is problem or difficulty. Taklif. So we've got te. Calf, lam, ye, and fair. Again, don't worry too much about the other letters, but you should be able to recognize te at the top there. That's the two dots above. Now we have the dental te sound. So this one, as I say, it looks like a little P that's upside down. <laughs> um, this one. It's a dental te sound. So if I say um, tortoise, the T's, they're in the middle of my mouth. Tortoise. If I say ticket, ticket, it's the back of the tongue touches um, the roof of the mouth. It's a hard t sound. Ticket, traffic. Not traffic, traffic. It's more of a dental t. Again, the main thing is is you just remember that's a tear. Remember, this is a ta sound, and that's a ta sound. And after a while, you'll begin to differentiate between the two sounds. But the main thing is to reckon it's a rec is to recognise it's a ta sound. This one here is three dots, so two dot three dots below. Can you remember what that was? That's pair. This one is se, se. So it kind of makes the uh, the sound of the letter it is se. Sikafat, uh, sikafat culture. You will almost always see this se when it's um, I'd say like uh, a safardu word. Um, but anyway. We'll look at some 